All right, friends, welcome back to my virtual classroom. So in my previous video, I taught you how to find the air surface area of 3D shape. Now, our next lesson is about how to find the surface area of composite shapes. What are the composite shapes? So we know, you guys know that these are the 3D shapes, right? And this is a rectangular uh, prism. Composite shapes, when two, two 3D shapes are attached together, all right, so when two shapes, two different shapes attached together, they are called composite shapes. It could be in different ways. It depends. Some, uh, sometimes you get a shape that is connected. Uh, they are made composite this way. It could go this way. Or it could be like any ways, right? So when two or three or more different shapes are attached together, they are known as composite shapes. And how to find the area of composite shape? This lesson uh, is for grade 9 and 10. So if you're grade 9 and 10 students, please pay attention because this is very really important to understand. All right. So since I told you in my previous video, if this is a rectangular prism, so it has six faces. But if it's a become a composite shape, for example, like this. So the top face and the bottom face of the triangles, triangle, uh, triangular prism, they are overlapped. Overlap means they are not exposed, right? So they are covered. So we only find the area of the sides which are exposed. All right. So before in a triangular prism, there are five faces, but when it become a composite shape, then it is only left with four faces, one front and front and back and the two tops, right? Same thing for the rectangular uh, prism. Before it has six faces, but when it's become a composite shape, it is left with five faces. So front and back, two sides and one bottom. So the top is covered. All right. So there are multiple ways. So to find the surface area, one way is you can, you can easily find the surface area of each face. So if the faces are identical, you can save your time by multiplying the area by two. All right. And once you know the area of each face, of the composite uh, shape you again you just sum it up and you get the surface area of your um composite shape all right so please don't get confused it's the same thing just find the area so you're not adding the area of these two faces which are overlap all right so you know how to find the area of this face is a triangle use the formula for the area of triangle you have two identical triangle faces if you know the area of one face times by two same thing if you have find the area of this rectangle face times by two. So you have four faces for this top part. For the bottom part, you have one, two, three, one at the back. So you have three identical faces. So if you know the area of front face, length times width, if you know that, the area you times by three, one, two, and three at the back. And if you know the area of this face times by two, this and this, once you know the area of all five faces for the rectangular prism and three faces for the tri I mean one to four faces for the triangular prism, add them up and that's going to be your surface area for your composite shapes. All right. Again, any question do let me know. All right. So here, like I have drawn the two separate shapes and this is like, again, a composite shape when they come together. So you never add the area of the face, which is which is not exposed, which is overlap. Simple. That's the only difference between the composite shape and the regular 3D shapes for the surface area. All right. Hope you friends find this video useful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.